Hi, I'm Andrew. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the percent composition of potassium chlorine and oxygen in potassium perchlorate. I've created a nice little simple table to help us find the molar mass or the molecular mass first. And then what we're going to do is find those percents and it'll be easy peasy. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the elements of the compound. So I got potassium, I got chlorine, I got oxygen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If you do not see any subscripts down there, it is assumed to be a one. That means we've got a one potassium, one chlorine, and then we got four oxygens. We're going to take those number of atoms then and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. Those masses are found on the periodic table. So here's one I've created. 39.10 for potassium, oxygen 16. Chlorine is going to be 35.45. So we're going to write them in, right? So we got 39, 39.10. Uh, for chlorine, it's going to be 35.45, and then oxygen, it's 16. Simply then, to find the total mass of each element in the compound, multiply the row on together. So that's going to be 39.10. For chlorine, it's going to be 35.45. And then the total for oxygen is going to be 64. All right. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, guess what? All you got to do is just simply add this column up. And the total mass is going to be 138.55. And there it is, right? So that's the first step, finding the total mass. Now all I'm going to simply do is add a column to the table, and you'll see how simple this is to find the percents. Bam. So to find the mass percent of, let's say, potassium, we're simply going to take the total mass of the potassium, so that's why we are going to use this column, 39, 39.10, 39.10, divided then by 138, the total mass of the entire compound, 55, that's why we had to find that first. And then we simply multiply by 100 to convert it into a percent. So this is going to be 28.22, 28.22%. All right. Next, for chlorine, we do the same thing. Total mass of the chlorine here in the compound was 35, 35.45. Divide that then by the total mass of the entire compound, which was 138.55. Simply multiply that then by 100. And the total mass, well, excuse me, the total percent composition here is going to be 25.59 or so. All right, and then last but not least, we do the same thing for auction, 64 divided by then 138.55, multiply that by 100. This is a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100, and the percent here is going to work out to be 46.19%. If you added those percents together, it should be 100%, or very close to if you added the exact percents up, it should be exactly 100, but sometimes when you round, it might be off by, you know, let's say 100th or so. In any case, that's all there is to it. Thanks very much for tuning in. I look forward to helping you with more problems. Check out our channel. We've got thousands of videos out there, not only in chemistry, but mathematics and physics, and we've got more coming. Take care.